Hey everyone, just thought I'd post a little video. It's the 4th of July, Independence Day, to all my American subscribers and watchers. Happy Independence Day. I uh, hope you get to shoot off some fireworks and uh, have a little celebration. It's also my mother-in-law's birthday. Happy birthday. I'm going to time this 461 on video. There's quite a few videos out there of timing, but I figure the more the merrier. So I'm actually going to time a saw on video. And I'm going to do it as quickly as possible um, so that it doesn't get too confusing for people. I'm just going to do straight timing um, and that's it. Um, my, it. My timing wheel is printed off the internet. It's laminated. It's on a piece of st stable cardboard. That is a socket that fits super tight, knocked on to the flywheel nut with a bolt through it and a couple of washers. I have a real timing wheel uh, and more of a fancy setup, but I understand a lot of people don't have that stuff. So you can print one off the internet and start your porting. As long as you set it up right and you can recreate your numbers, whether the timing wheel is this or something like this that one's fancy doesn't matter so again i'm just trying to show people what you can do in your shop with limited tools and uh and whatnot um to set up this timing wheel find bottom dead center i line up my wheel i push this piston all the way down, I line up my wheel so it's close to bottom dead center. This pointer is a piece of wire attached to a bolt, okay? Put your piston at bottom dead center, line it up so it's close. And then either use a piston stop, if you don't have one of those, you can use a screwdriver with tape around it so you don't scratch anything. Um, you can use a piece of plastic. Uh, if you have a ring compressor kit, there's piston stops in there that are plastic. Put something in the spark plug hole that will stop the piston. And the idea is stop the piston one way and turn around and stop the piston the other way. Make those numbers match so it stops in the same place on both sides and you are at bottom dead center and top dead center. Okay, so I did all that first. Um, once you get that done, then you can do your timing. So without further ado, 461 timing. Hope you enjoy. Okay, to preface this video, to do the exhaust timing, you want a flashlight. I, I use my DeWalt one from work. You want to shine it on the same angle as this spark plug hole. Okay, so prop it up with something. That's how you get exhaust timing numbers. Okay, I've already gotten all the numbers, but in interest of time, I'm going to streamline this video. There's there's where your exhaust cracks, okay? That first, I'm going to pause it and turn the light off and you can really see. Okay. Turn this off. There you go. Okay. There's where the exhaust opens after top dead center. See, it's moving down. Right there, okay? That is 102 degrees after top dead center. Now let's do duration. It opens at 102. It's open, open, open. Notice that piston almost clears the exhaust port, which is not super common. Okay, pistons open, open, open. There you go, it's closed. That little ray in there that you see, that's because there's no rings in the saw. I do not count that. If you put a ring in, on the piston, you wouldn't see that at all. It is closed. Okay. You look at your timing number there. And what you do is, you go. It opens at 102. You count all the way back to the other number. Count it in tens. Make it easy on yourself. 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60. Go all the way around until you hit the other number. And then write it down. This one happens to be 54 degrees of duration. So that's how long the valve is open. Or the piston in this case. But the piston is the valve. 
Okay, now what I do, I will shine my flashlight in the intake port. I will turn it up past the top dead center. Okay. The transfers open, sorry, the transfers open after the exhaust is open. Okay. Now, if you look in to the spark plug hole, like we're doing right here, there's your transfer. Okay. Turn it backwards. Right about there is where it opens. Now that happens to be, that happens to be 122 degrees. Okay. Okay. So the sooner you open the exhaust, the higher the RPM is going to be in the saw. Generally. Okay. The sooner you open the exhaust, the shorter the power stroke is going to be because instead of that pressure pushing down on the piston, it ends up going out the exhaust faster. Okay. So 102, 122, that's a 20 degree blowdown is what I would refer to that as. Now let's turn the saw around. I will turn the light back on so you can see. Okay, so now we're on the intake side. Where does the intake open on this saw? It opens right there. That happens to be, that happens to be well, let's do this again. I already timed this, so I know where my number should be. Okay, right there. It happens to be 71 degrees. Okay. That happens to be 71 degrees after bottom dead center. Now, let's spin this around. If it opens at 71 degrees, where does it close? It closes right there. Okay, same thing. We happen to have on this saw a 140 degree intake duration. Okay, check everything three times. That's what you want on your saw. You want, write down what saw it is, whether you have a base gasket or not. It's a stock cylinder, meteor piston, squish. Exhaust timing, duration, intake timing, duration, and your transfers. That's all you need to know to port a saw. If you, the lower or the higher this number is, the later it opens. Okay? The lower this number is, the sooner it opens. That controls torque and RPM. The sooner you open the exhaust, the sooner it's venting the pressure and the less force you have pushing down on the piston that affects your torque curve so if you want a really torquey saw you're probably going to drop the cylinder right you want that number higher with good transfer work with good transfer work though and you make a saw move a lot of air you can actually raise that number and still pull a long bar that takes a lot of practice though okay your intake you want your intake number and your duration. Okay? So there's like 15 degrees difference between intake and exhaust. You don't want your intake open too long because you can actually have a saw that it floods more or less. And then your blowdown. How soon after the exhaust opens does the transfer start putting fresh, com fresh air into the combustion chamber? Okay? Hope this helps a little bit. And uh, just trying to put more info out there. Uh, check out Harvey's channel, Iron Horse Chainsaws, for more videos on this. Uh, he's been very helpful. Just thought I'd throw something out there. Anyways, happy 4th of July. Thanks for watching. Have a great evening.